Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to create a Wix website for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering, how do you actually start creating your websites in Wix? So we all know that Wix offers a free plan wherein you'll be able to publish and create your sites for free. So especially with the platform itself and the technology that you're, that you're using here, the capabilities of de designing your website is actually not limited. So you could position some elements in a way, which is I'll be showing you later on how to do that. Now in this case, only what we need to do here is first is we need to have a Wix account. So first things first, go to Wix.com, create your account, and once you've created your account, you should be redirected to this page here or to the next page that I'll be showing you. But if you're redirected to the page here, what we need to do next is we need to start creating our website. So in this case, click on the option that says create new site at the top right of your screen, and it's going to load up another tab wherein it's going to say free website builder. Now in this case, it's going to say, bring your ideas to life with AI. So if you're not aware yet, Wix has actually implemented a way for you to create your website through the use of AI. But for now, we want to go ahead and use the basic setup. In this case, we want to first familiarize yourself on how Wix actually works. So let's go to go to basic setup. Now from here, it's going to load up your web page here again, or tab, and it's going to say what kind of website are you creating. So maybe we want to say we are creating a portfolio website here. In this case, just click on the appropriate option. And it's really important here that you basically state what type of website here. So especially if you're building a store or a specific kind of website like for booking and whatnot, make sure that you indicate here because the available features to you will differ depending on how you answer the following questions. So for now, just get, click on the X, uh, next button here, which is next. And what would you like to call your website? So I want to say this is going to be a sample website for me. So I just want to say this my name here and I want to add a sample to it. Just click on next. Now, once you've added name for your website, we want to go ahead and choose what do you want to add to your website. So maybe by default, we want to add a portfolio here. Like what I said before, depending on how you answer the questions before, the following options to you will be available and pre-selected for you. Now, in this case, I want to keep portfolio here, Instagram feed. And if you want to add other sections here, like for example, music, forms, online programs, events, bookings, chat, and a lot more. So if you want to add those, make sure to check on it. But for now, I just want to use the basic features that we have right now. So let's click on next. And once you click on it, you should you should be rejected to another page here. And it says, start setting up your website. So in this case, manage your app, site settings, analytics, communications, and more. Now, in this case, if you click on go to dashboard here, you will only be redirected to your dashboard and you won't be able to choose a template yet, but you have to access a specific link for it on that. But I'll be showing you where that link leads to or what link you need to click to add a template. But since we're already on this page here, we want to go ahead and click on the option that says begin with a template. Since we want to basically use the following templates or viewable templates that they already have here. Now, there are going to be a lot of templates that you could use here. So depending on how you answered before, they will be able to show you the different templates that you might want to try. Now, in this case, they have latest work, illustrator here, photographer, artist, photographer again, illustrator, and a lot more. So depending on what type of portfolio you want here, you want to choose the appropriate one. So maybe we want to choose the option here for artists. So let's just click on it, edit, and it's going to automatically add that add that as our template and it's going to load up the website editor here. Now under the website editor here, you should be able to edit the website itself. But this might take a few seconds or a few minutes to load up since it's going to apply that specific template into your website. So let's just wait for it. Now once the new tab or the editor actually loads up, it's going to say let AI write your site content. So you need to add a few details on it. Like for example, if you want to use their AI capabilities here, you could go ahead and let them add the site content for you. But for now, we want to utilize the manual way here so that we'll be familiar with how things actually work here. 
Now, first things first is we first have to familiarize ourselves what are the things that we could use here in Wix. So I'll be showing you the basics here. So obviously there's going to be a lot of things that you could do here in uh, Wix, but I'll be showing you the essentials. So first things first is at the left side here, we have add elements, add section, pages and menu, site design, apps, business, media, and CMS. Now the most important settings here are going to be add elements, which in this case, you'll be able to add photos or buttons or different elements. Uh, depend, it depends on how you want to add it. Like for example, text, you want to add a specific text. That's how you add it with text, images, and whatnot. Now sections are going to be segments on the page itself. Now think of the text as elements and sections is the container of those elements. Now pages and menu is from the name itself. It's going to be the pages. So for example, you have if you have like a specific page for a specific project, well, this is where you'll be able to manage them. Now here we have site design. Now site design is a great way for you to basically customize your website. So to make things a lot more unified. In this case, first things first, we want to go ahead and go to site design first. So site design, you should be able to change the site team on it. Like for example, the colors, the color team, text team, page background, page transitions, if you want to add those. Like for example, if you want to add change the text team here, you'll be able to choose a specific team for like headings or the paragraph style here as well. Now, in this case, we also have the color team wherein you'll be able to customize the colors that is within the app or the team that we have right now. So currently, these are the accent colors. So if you want to change those, just click on it. And from there, you should, you should be able to change or add a color, specific color here if you want to as well. Now, if you want to view the advanced settings here, wherein you'll be able to ch uh, pick whatever the primary background here, secondary background, line dividers, titles, subtitles, and a lot more. Now, once you've done editing all of the uh, team or the site design here, we want to move on to the section for sections. Now, sections is a way for you to add different sections itself. Like what I told you before, uh, think of sections as containers of elements. Now, by default, it's going to give you different sections that you might want to use. Like for example, that if you want to welcome someone, you might want to use the welcome section here. So just press and hold on it and drag it into your web page here. It's going to be automatically added. As you can see right now, it's going to be automatically added. Now, the good thing about this one is when you click on the specific element here, you should be able to change the text itself or even customize the settings that is available on that specific element there, like fonts, font size. And with uh, it's kind of similar to Word, so you could go ahead and bold the text itself, it it italic, or use the underline functionalities here, as well as the changing color of this specific text here. Now, also have the effects here which in this case, text effects, drop shadows, and a lot more glow. And we also have the character line spacing here. So if you want to adjust the character line spacing, the vertical text, if you want to enable that, so it's going to be vertical text as you can see right now. You also have the option for SEO and accessibility as well. So if you want to adjust those. Now, a good thing about the uh, sections or elements that we add here is we could customize them. Like for example, this since this is just a container box, you could go ahead and just press and hold on one point here and you could extend it and adjust it so that it's going to look good, as you can see right now. Now, since we've added another section here, by the way, if you want to explore other sections that is available here, you what you need to do here is just click on whatever con type of uh, sections that you want to add like about as gallery here or even team so in this case subscribe services business info there's a lot of things that you could use as a section here so you could go ahead and just explore that but for now if you want to further customize different sections here or customize your website we could go to elements now other elements is where you'll be able to add text buttons decoratives galleries menus anchors and a lot more so basically this is where these small things that you could add into your website this is where you'll be able to use them now for example in this welcome section here maybe we want to add a image so go ahead and choose the image option here. And from here we have the upload an image and import. And we want to go ahead and click on upload image. Now once you click on it, it's going to pop up another UI here wherein you'll be able to start uploading your image. 
Now in this case, we want to click on upload from computer and it's going to load up th this up and choose your image, click on open. And once you've done that, it's going to start uploading that. And once it's actually uploaded, we could go ahead and start add this into our website. So let's just wait for it. Now in this case, we want to click, make sure that it is actually selected and just click on add to page. And it's going to be added now into our uh, website. As you can see, you could go ahead and change a few things here. Like at the corners here, you could just press and hold on it and you could re even resize it. Now, the good thing, like what I said before, the good thing about Wix here is the, the, we are not restricted on how we actually position our elements. As, as you can see, I am able to reposition this image here in whatever way I want. Now, in this case, I even want, if I want to position it in this way, you could go ahead and do that. And you could even edit the image itself and change the image here. So I also have the uh, settings here. So if you want to change that, like for example, when image is click, a link opens. If you want to add those or it opens in a pop-up, it can be magnified and a lot more. So what's the image? So in here, it's going to explain what's the image. This is going to be the file name itself. So does this image have a tooltip? So if you want to add a tooltip, you can go ahead and click on adding tooltip. Tool now from here, what are the other things that we could do here? Like designs, if you want to change the design for this specific image, add frames or discover other frames here if you want. Like for example, we want to add this one or this frame here, you go ahead and do that as well. Now, if you want to crop your image, just click on this one. If you want to add filters, click on filters. If you want to add animation to it, you could go ahead and do that as well. Now, if you want to add link, just click on link here and you should be able to basically add a link. So which page? So choose this one. So if you have different pages already added in your uh, web page here, you could choose that. I also have web address here, sections or anchor. But if you want to cancel that, just click on cancel here. Now from here, what are the other things that we could do here as well? So like what I told you before, you could basically edit it in a way that is that you want. Now in this case, most of the time people are going to be in their phone. So if you click on the switch to mobile option here at the top left, you should be able to start editing your website in a mobile format. As you can see right now, this is the mobile format. This is what your web, web page going to look like whenever they access it via their mobile phones which is a great way for you to really customize and ensure that your website is going to look cool and good on whatever device that they want to access this one now also we have the page here at the top left now by default we have home here we have project one project two since we chosen a portfolio team here but if you want to manage your pages click just click on manage pages and from here you should be able to see other pages as you can see right now now, once we switch to the desktop mode here or the desktop version of our website, you should be able to see other settings that you could change. Like for example, if you want to add another page, just click on add page here and you just need to basically choose what page you want to add. So in this case, if you want to use a back page, just click on back page here, but you could use whatever template that we have right now. Now, also, if you click on that specific page here, like for example, you want to go ahead and go to the project page here. So once you click on it, it's going to redirect you to that specific page. So if you want to edit it, like for example, if you click on the tree icon here, we have settings, SEO basics, and a lot more. So if you want to delete them as well, just click on delete here. Now also, if you want to reposition, reposition them, what you need to do is just press and hold on the dotted icon here, and you should be able to change where it's actually going to be located. Now, yeah, so if you want to now publish your website, what we need to do is just click on the option there that says save first. And once you've saved that, you want to choose a specific domain here. So if you want to customize domain, you have to pay for it to connect your own customized domain here. But for now, we want to use the free one, which is Wix.com. Just click on save and continue. And once you've done that, what we need to do is wait for the save to complete. And once it's actually done, just click on done. And from here, just click on publish at the top right. And it's going to publish our website. It's going to say, congratulations, your site is now published. Just click on view site here. And from here, you should be able to see your website as you can see right now. So yeah, so that is the uh, basic things for beginners that they should know on how to edit or start creating your websites on Wix. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.